One would be um, increased reliance on analytics packages and in particular with the cost of living crisis, uh, people relying more on those and particularly on the social side of things as it's recognised that there's increasingly sort of path to purchase for consumers through social. Another obvious one I guess would be AI, a lot of people probably say that, but I think a more nuanced approach to AI uh, this year rather than a sort of sledgehammer approach that we might be more used to. So understanding that machine learning doesn't always work by relying on it entirely, it's to be used sparingly. And I'd say finally, um, more use of personalization in campaigns, again, particularly for digital online campaigns. And again, that, that comes back to better use of, of insights and, and data. Simon Fraser at IPA Touchpoints did a fantastic presentation. Everything about it was great. The delivery was humorous. It was to the point, some fantastic insights about media habits today that really set the scene well. And we saw those, a lot of the points that he made, we saw them repeated uh, through the day. One of the main things that I think we've seen um, today has been that, you know, often with, these, with events like this, people seem to come looking for almost a a panacea, what is, the, what is the answer to our, our, our targeting prayers? T today it felt like there was a bit of a shift in that conversation. It was more about, well, there isn't, there isn't one thing. There isn't, there isn't one big media brand that's new and funky that's going to save us. Um, and, and, you know, we heard a lot, for instance, today about TV. It came up again and again. And guess what? You know, TV two decades ago was a dominant brand. Today, it's still very much a dominant brand within the, within the media marketplace. So, you know, things don't change overnight and that hasn't changed recently either. It always will be a mix of things and what works for one will be slightly different for another um, and I think that's, that's one of the key things we've, we've found today. There's two things in particular uh, that make this a really valuable event for us at Kantar Media. One is uh, just listening to um, senior leaders at, at brands and at agencies talking about their priorities uh, and, 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 and some of their, their insights because you know we're in the business of data and you know understanding what we need to do uh, what we need to do better things we need to stop doing and so on so knowing what their priorities are is really important for us but beyond that as well just having so many people here you know all our clients come to this uh, many of our prospects come to this so having our people here as well to um, uh, be able to catch up with them, um, to network, to find your opportunities is really, really important. So it's, it's very valuable to us. I would say transformative, fun and exciting. <laughs>